Yo, what's up, guys? It's Don Dum Cup Blade Blade. I'm your host, Andrew. Today, we got a very special package, and it is wow. the Killer Beefo. Woo! Or the Evil Beefo. But disclaimer is actually a Sono Kong Mid Fake Beyblade. How do we know? Because we copied it from AliExpress for just 10 bucks. But again, we do not promote buying fakes, so we're doing it for you. But without further ado, let's look at the box. So on the bottom, you can see a code of 02412 for reference, for comparison. But overall, the printing job is just okay. You can definitely tell that it's like a copy or a reprint because the text is fading out and also the picture is not the most HD. Yo, and inside the box, we got the paperboard, we got the sticker pack, we got the Beyblade, and we got a gray version of Court Launcher 2. It's pretty smooth and it's actually accurate to the Sonocon release. They also come with a Gun Metal Launcher 2. And let's look at the spotlight of this video. We got the killer beefo. Wow, looking not bad. All right, so let's start with the metal wheel. Since it is a new metal, so it's pretty shiny at this point. It's unused, it's understandable. But this is actually very rare to see a mythic metal without any metal debris. So 10 out of 10. Next up, the tattoo face bow is actually looking pretty good, 10 out of 10. The logo is pretty clear and the printing is fine. No code is found inside the face bow, but make sure to check the tips of the face bow. They are always unpolished, so watch out. Next up, we got the fusion wheel. Hmm, I think the color is pretty sus. It's more on a lighter red side even like a flamingo pink but correct me if i'm wrong i think it should be in a maroon purplish red going down to the beyblade we got uw145 yup can you hear that it clicks i don't think the real one clicks and you can interchange it so the molding is fine 10 out of 10 and we got the EWD Eternal Wide Defense. This should be the main reason you guys are buying this Beyblade and calling this a rare Beyblade. But right off the bat, you can already tell it's poking out, which is not supposed to be like that. You know what? It actually looks like the combination of a ES tip plus a WD. For the sticker sheet, I don't have much comment. But I do remember the Japanese has a laser reflective printing on the stickers. And for the manual, uh, the printing is pretty dark. And I bet no one is looking at the manual, so we'll pass on that. So now let's assemble the Beyblade. Every part is smooth, everything is locked in. And here we have a 360 for the Mythic Evo Beefo. UW145EWD And now is the time for real versus fake comparison. I actually never had a real fusion wheel and a face bow, so we'll skip that part. Let's start with the metal. And as you guys can see, you can find an AA3 code on the trench area next to the center circle. No number code is found on the two side. For the track and tip, let's look at the authentic UW145 and EWD. The free spinning sharp in the center should not be poking out. I would even call it like low key hiding in the middle. Here you can see a huge S difference. Authentic on the left and Mythic on the right. Same thing when comparing to the TT. And lastly, if you look at the wings on the track, you can find a code. For Hasbro, there's an AA3. For Mythic, there's an A4. 
and for TT there's an A4 as well. So there's not much difference on the track. And after 5 minutes of talking, let's test out its performance. Let's do it a side by side. And we can see that the Mythic lasts about 1 minute and 51 seconds. And the Hasbro Authentic lasts about 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Pretty impressive. And now, let's do some battle. The reason why I'm picking these bay are because they're anime accurate. And yeah, let's start with real versus fake. So the real one has stickers on, and the fake one has nothing. You can see that the EWD on the real one actually activate. It works like the final survival mode on the FD. It basically go crazy when the side of the tip actually hit the stadium. So it acts like a hollow flap. But for the mythic tips, I don't think that will ever happen because the center part actually exposed a lot. So even it got tilted, it's still a sharp unless it got wear down and it become more like a flat or a ball. But we will see, it takes time. So this round mythic wins. Next up, we got the Grand Capricorn. Let's see if we can get a revenge for that. Let's be real guys, is the killer Beefall your favorite Beyblade in Metal Saga? I mean not for me because I hate the owner, Jack. He's definitely like a uh, evil character. Not that he scratched the stadium and destroyed other Beyblade. He freaking traumatized my childhood. I believe he put some of the characters into ICU as well. And truly, I don't really get why this bay is so rare and people want to get it because of the EWD. The killer whales and the UW145 track are so mid. I don't ever see people using those. And Ayo hey, Grand Capricorn got two strikes. Good job. And now is the time to give the killer B4 a lesson. Hand spin El Drago, let's go! Okay, so I actually want to bring up a topic here, which is the pricing on Mythic. And I'm just gonna go straight to the point. There are a bunch of new mythics coming out recently. Most of them are like single bay, like Dark Bull, Rock Leon, some crazy colorway of Storm Pegasus, and they're selling for around like 8 bucks to 10 bucks for each, which is pretty reasonable, right? Comparing to those who got a launcher for like 12 bucks or 11 bucks. And for this killer beefle, I got it for around 10 bucks with launcher and boxes. But I know that a authentic used killer beefle costs about $70 and a new one costs about $100 or more. And if my math is methane, the price ratio between a mythic to an authentic it's more like 1 to 10 in this case. Which is pretty rare to see because most of the time we're getting a price ratio of 1 to 5 or 1 to 7. But I think the most nonsense example should be the J Jupiter and Screw Uranus. 30 bucks for Mythics only because of their reselling for 150 each. So again, why is this killer beefle selling for 10 bucks? Or should I ask, why J Jupiter or Screw Your Anus not selling for 10 bucks? I bet that they're coming out with Blitz Unicorn and they would be pricing for 30 bucks, which I truly hope they're not going to do that because that would demolish the actual fun of playing Beyblade. To my own understanding, if you're buying Mythic, you're not collecting Beyblade, you're just playing with Beyblade. 
which I respect more because you're actually investigating, looking for better combos, testing out stuff. So there's no way it would cost 30 bucks for a thick gameplay. And this can apply to some of the 3D printing seller as well. So what do you guys think about this mythic? To me, I will give it like a 6 out of 10 because the performance isn't impressive, but the finishing on the metal, on the plastic are perfect. The EWD, uh, not the most accurate EWD. So let us know your thoughts and peace.